sometimes you'll have files in your project directory that don't need to be committed. There's an easy solution for this. I'll show you. If you're new to Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're just looking at getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I want to help you level up and get to where you want to be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Git is a big part of development because it's one way that developers are able to work together. If you're not sure what Git is, how to use it, why to use it, how to install it on your computer, check out some of the other videos in my series. Link in the card above. To ignore files within the directory, you need to add a file to the root of your project directory called .getignore. That's right, it starts with a period. You won't be able to see this file when you open your finder, but you will be able to see it when you open your project within VS Code. Let me pull up a typical getignore file. If you've ever used Create React App, this is automatically generated. Let's talk a little bit about why these files are listed here. We're including the node modules folder because we can rebuild this directory. If you're using node modules, then you also have a package.json file in your project that lists all the dependencies in your project. You can easily download all these files again and save your repository 200 meg. The same thing with the build folder. The package.json file should also include a script to rebuild your project and recreate this folder. DS store is a file that Mac computer creates that includes information about the position of the icons or the choice of the background image. There's no need to include those. Dot env files usually include passwords and tokens and API keys. A dot env file should be specific to the environment. Besides, as you can see in our list, there's one for local development, test, and production. Then in this last section, you can see log files. There's no need to include these in your repository or any other type of caching. In the description below, I'll include a link to the Git Ignore file that I referenced. Feel free to download it, use it, modify it, share it, whatever, have at it. If you like this video and would like to see more videos on web design and development, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon if you would like to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.